If you want to check out the entire card, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. That is where to watch it. Max is running hot. Seven games on his card. Let's keep getting paid. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get paid in full with that cash. Now we have three 9 p.m. games on Max's card. We're going to start out with the Dixie State Trailblazers. 3-0 on the season, 1-0 on the road at Southern Utah Thunderbirds. 4-1, 3-0 at home. America First Event Center in Cedar, Cedar, excuse me, Cedar City, Utah. Let's see what I can give you for a line. We'll start with FanDuel, see what Max wants, and then line shop for him. But FanDuel has Southern Utah minus 10.5, slightly juiced to minus 112, and the total at 148.5. Let's go. Dixie State has opened its first season in Div 1 basketball with an unblemished record. They started with a 74-73 win at home over North Dakota. They followed that up with a beatdown over NAIA St. Catherine Firebirds, then went on the road to defeat the Denver Pioneers 73-70. They're led by junior guard Cameron Gooden, who scores 13 points, gets four assists, and grabs 3.3 boards a game. After opening their season with an 85-83 loss at Loyola Marymount, Southern Utah's won four straight. They also defeated NIA, uh, NIA, NAIA, excuse me, St. Catherine, Firebirds 95-47, swept two games at home over Montana, then defeated Utah Valley 81-71. This is a team that's now been off for eight days, led by six foot seven junior guard Tevian Jones, who scores 18.8 points per game. Dixie State, Southern Utah Max, 9 p.m. Eastern action. Let's roll. Yeah, listen, Jim, with Dixie State, a lot of people are disrespecting them and not realizing that this is a quality team with encore continuity and lots of chemistry going on. And their best player is working his way back from an injury, still on a minute restriction. So um, I understand where the love for Southern Utah is. They've done a really good job for your bankroll. They're 4 0 ATS. Three out of their four games have gone over, and they've been in this point range. But I think that the odds makers keep on raising uh, their total. Um, and I think that's accurate. This is a Southern Utah team at home that is able to get 80 points and they get to the free throw line a ton. That's the bottom line. They get to the free throw line sometimes 26 times a game and they're making 18 to 20 of them. So they're definitely scoring with the clock stopped. I think that with this team, the most noticeable thing that you have to look at is the fact that last year, this team didn't make three point shots this year with Tevion Jones coming in from Illinois. He has definitely infused something and they have worked on that shot from that new, distance that was only implemented last year and now so now southern utah has turned into a three-point shooting machine because they're hitting eight a game and it's not like they've done it against all cupcakes aside from st catherine um, I think that Mason Fawcett's done a fantastic job of scoring down low, getting to the free throw line, and getting on the glass. Um, him and John Knight and Dre Marin, um, senior, um, experienced players, all double-digit scorers, playing minutes, playing with fouls also. So this team is just looking real good. Obviously, um, the Loyola Marymount game was a little bit of a slip-up. They got a little um, overvalued in that game, and they got uh, – put down but you beat up on montana and you beat up on utah valley which is obviously a rival in state um but now you're going up against a dixie state team that you don't have any familiarity with you don't know you never played against them you've watched a little bit of film on them i think that you got to bring your best game and i think that dixie state what they've shown already is that they're ready to freaking ball with any D1 program that they get on the court with. When you look at guys like Frank Stain and Jacob uh, Nichols, these are guys that are pretty unknown. Um, I had pretty low projections for them, but already they are uh, superseding, the, though they're exceeding those. Um, like you mentioned, Jim, Cam Gooden is going to have to be the main offense. He's going to have to facilitate. But don't worry, Frank Stain and him, they play very well on the court together, and they average eight assists a game combined. So you're getting really good distribution. You get really good ball movement. You get really good team basketball from Dixie State. They're an attractive team when it comes to double-digit spreads. I think you're not going to I think you're going to know how I'm going on this game. I think that as long as Dixie State can limit their fouls, share their share the ball to get the best shot possible, and get to 70 at least, they're going to stay in this game. The 66% free throw percentage definitely is a problem, but 
the more and more um, you get Hunter Schofield uh, back and at full hundred um, percent, the better off the Dixie State is going to be. This is a guy that even in his 17 minutes a game, he's still averaging 10 and four. So I can only imagine what's going to happen when he's at full strength and he's starting and playing 32, 35 minutes a game. Until then, we'll have to wait. But this is a Dixie State team that, like I said, plays good team basketball. They do just enough on offense, and they take high percentage looks. If they can shoot 50% from the field against Southern Utah, they're going to be in this game until the last minute, and hopefully they can keep it within 10.5 or 11. So um, I'm taking Dixie State full game and I'll be looking to get on them getting on them in the first half because right now my numbers say that they have at least a one point advantage in the first half. So good starting team. I like this. Dixie State is a school that believes Div one teams wouldn't play them because they were such a good Div two team that the Div one teams were afraid that they'd have this blemish on their record and they couldn't get Div one opponents. And now they're in Div 1, Dixie State. And this game means so much to them, you know, in-state rivalry. They've always wanted to go up against Southern Utah Thunderbirds. They also have a game later in the year against Gonzaga, which means the world to all the Trailblazers fans. Max backing Dixie State, and we can get him an 11 at Circa. Well, that's that's what I bet them, Jim, and I love hearing that. God yeah. bless Circa. 10.5 at Bet365 and 10.5 at FanDuel. But full game plus 11 at minus 110 for Max on the Dixie State Trailblazers. Wow. As a fan of basketball, I would like to make this bet. I I like it. I like it a lot. It makes my palms start sweating. Uh, Max, what's your first half uh, that you're looking for? Hey, listen, um, with this, Jim, I think that when the line comes out at five and a half or six, I would take that. But I'm a greedy SOB. Um, borderline POS, and um, I'm going to wait and watch that line and see if I can grease it for a couple more points. That may not be possible in the morning, but if I get five or six, I'd be very content and secure riding that out. But you want me to wait? Well, we're not going to get a we're not going to get a first half line until the morning. I know, but when I wake up, uh, I shouldn't just if I see a five and a half or six, I should. If you see a five and a half or six, yeah, you should just nail it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. We are in business. Max backing the Dixie State Trailblazers. This game means so much to this fan base. 